This time we're going to be doing a fun hummingbird. We'll be doing balloon smashing for the leaves and flowers. We're going to be doing a swipe for the background and we're going to be puddling and drawing using a very unique tool for fluid acrylic painting, a cut up rewards card. You could use a palette knife if you have a palette knife also, but that's, oh my goodness, I spilled my purple paint. <laughs> Luckily, we don't need very much of it. So I am going to get some of this stuff cleared out of my way because that's part of my problem. I have too much stuff in my way. Excellent. Okay, guys, so the sound is back. You guys are here. I am so excited. Let me uh, come back to this screen so I can make sure that we are on. Woohoo! All right, get my. I'm gonna get my gloves on now. We are going to be using DecoArt pouring medium and DecoArt paints. They're not sponsoring this. I just happen to like my DecoArt paints. I am a DecoArt helping artist, but I haven't really taken advantage of their program yet. So everything I've got, I've bought. <laughs> We have the sat satin enamel white. This gives us a really cool kind of cloudy effect with the other paints. I have the metallic festive red, metallic festive green, metallic purple pearl, and the standard Americana paint ultra blue deep and festive green. So we've got those introduced and out of the way. <laughs> so are you guys, please let me know in the chat. Are you guys getting it now? I really need to see if you're back <laughs> before I start doing the whole pour. But we are going to be doing this on an eight by 10 canvas panel. Move that one out of the way. I have two of them here, just in case we wanted to do a second one. I don't know. I might just be well enough to get the first one done. <laughs> Yay, sound is working. People are getting in. Awesome sauce. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking with me. I really do appreciate it. So we are going to do a swipe for the background first. For that, we will be using the Ultra Blue Deep. And let's see here. Do I, I think I need to lift this up off the table a little bit. So there's room for the paint to go if I swoop, if I swoop it too far off the table or off the uh, surface of the canvas. So we're going to lift this up and then I'll refocus when I zoom in. So we're going to zoom in. There we go. We're now zoomed in on this. We're going to be swiping from the top down to the bottom and to the swiping tool is going to be just a piece of cardstock. I'll be able to use this piece of cardstock later. Okay, closed it came back working fine. Oh good, I'm so glad. Now if you have any questions, please put them in the comment section. Make sure that you put them in capital letters so that I can scroll back up and catch them if I don't happen to catch them the first time. So we'll be swiping with this just standard cardstock. So to get started with that, I am going to get a line of white along the back edge. Now these paints were mixed up two parts pouring medium to one part of the paint. And that was for all of them. So I'm going to get just a nice, a nice amount of white up here at the top because I'm going to be pulling that down over the blue. But the blue is actually going to get poured right onto the white also. Wow, white on white. That's a real trick to see, isn't it? We'll get it so that we can see it a little bit better now, as soon as we get some blue on here. 
And that's probably all the blue. I, you don't need a lot of the blue. It really likes to take over. So, okay. Looks like I'm not seeing all the chat. Live chat. Let's see all the chat. There we go. All the chat. So I'm going to take this piece of just plain cardstock and I am going to put it down at the top edge and kind of wiggle it back and forth a little bit. And I'm letting the weight of the paper just pull this paint down. And it may be that I have to turn this around and get some more paint on here because look at that. I didn't put enough white on. Well, maybe we'll just do it at the top again. That's cool. Yeah, I definitely didn't have enough paint on. So we're going to pour more. See, that's one of the things, guys, is that you don't have to always go with the first, the first pass. I'm just going to put this paper right back down on. Oh my goodness, Christine, thank you so much. I forgot that I had, was playing with those settings. I didn't intend to leave that on the whole time. But thank you, I appreciate that so much. And look at that. So, one more time. And I don't know if you guys are hearing an echo of me talking. I've got it coming through some headphones. There we go. There we go. Ooh. See? You can do this multiple. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, now we're getting some cells showing up. I'm just going and grabbing a hold of just a little bit here. To get off these edges. Oh, wow. And then we've got this cool looking paper here. I'm just going to put it down. Oh, isn't that pretty? And it turned out the way I want it because I've got all this interest going on on this side here. And this is the edge where I want to put the flowers. And then the bird is in this middle area where it's more cloudy. Yes, that turned out. <laughs> oh, Donna, thank you so much for, for being here. Jean, yes, I do chat. I am chatty chat. Uh, there's different tones to the color just because of the way the blue ultra deep and the white intermixed with each other and the white is the Americana satin enamel and it seems to do some cool intermixing with whatever color you use it with this is only a two color it looks like we've got purple in here it looks almost um, like we put other things I mean look at we've got these great cells That's, that is just so amazing to me that we have all of that. Now, we are going to put some paint out onto this little piece of, this is just plastic coated freezer paper. I like using something that is plastic coated. You could just use a plastic, uh, plastic plate or a plastic coated paper plate. Uh, that would work too. I like the freezer paper just because I can actually peel the skins off and use them later. So, you know, that way we don't uh, use over, uh, we don't throw things away that we can still use. And you can do it on paper plates and you can still use the paper plates. If you've got kids around that you want to do crafts with, use your paper plates to smash your paint and then give them to the kids after they're, after they're dry. Oh, Bonsai Kitty, thank you so much. That was such a surprise. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put the standard festive green because I want to get these leaves in. So I'm putting regular festive green. I'm putting some of the metallic green. 
Now I'm just puddling these right on top of each other. I am going to put a little bit of the blue and a bit of the white. Now you notice I'm just haphazardly puddling it on here. I'm not worried. I have, it's just a water balloon, just blown up, tiny, tiny little water balloon. You don't need a big one for doing this. Then we're going to smash down into the paint to get just some random color, color arrangement. And I'm going to just push in. Now the paint is pretty thick. The, hmm. I've got too much white on my table. So we're gonna give it more green. See, and that's again, things to practice. You want this paint to be thick enough to give you some, there we go. Now we're starting to get some leaves. Whoa, <laughs> whoop. See, I'm just trying to, so don't put any of the blue in or the, the white. You don't need it. The paint is a little bit thicker um, than when I did my sample, it looks like. There we go. Isn't that fun? Balloon smashing is something that a lot of people are doing and you come away with these really neat effects. I think I am probably going to be doing the hummingbird before I put the flowers in. I don't know. I might, oh, actually, to put the flowers in, we could try dropping the, the paint on and then smashing. So I'm going to use a, let's see. I went to the dollar store and I got some of the little makeup cleanup thingies. People use baby wipes. I couldn't find any baby wipes at the dollar store, but these makeup towelettes, they work really well for wiping things off. There we go. We've got the paint off and yeah, these are the thicker ones. So it's almost like fabric when it's done. So I'm going to rinse them and see if I can make something cool with it. Oh, cool, Tara. Thank you. I'm glad that you're going to definitely try this. I think that it is one of the coolest te techniques. All right. I need a sip of coffee now. And then I want to put a little bit more green in. Mac, your Bassett hears my voice and wants to play. <laughs> I love Bassets. I think they are the one of the most adorable dogs with their big ears. All right, I want a little bit more of the green and I think I'm actually going to put it right on and see what happens when we push in right on the, oh. Yeah, we're really thick with the paint here. Oh, but that's giving us some really cool effects. Look at that. Isn't that neat? All right. Okay, so this one is going to, ooh, that's got some, that's got some really cool stuff going on here too. And I just hit the wrong button, dang nabbit. Sorry about that, guys. I was just trying to hit the focus. Pretty colors. There's going to be some neat things that I can do, maybe some jewelry. So I'm gonna set this one aside and just grab another piece of freezer paper. There it is. Like the kitchen, you know, the kitchen shows, they have the thing under the, under the counter all ready to pull out and use. So there we go. And all I did was put a little fold on the back edges, the, 
the front and the back just to keep the paper from rolling around. Okay, so now I think I want to go ahead and put the hummingbird in and let this sort of sit for a little bit before we try putting the flowers. So the hummingbird, if you go up to the corner right up here, there's an iCard. That iCard has the how to draw a hummingbird lesson, start to finish, easy. Anybody can draw and it, I also have the handout available for you on my website at the at my store. The links are all down below. The list of all of the paints and all the materials that I'm using is down below in the more information box also. Please click that like button. Make sure if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button too. It really helps my channel out and you know, you get to know when things happen if you click that bell for more for the notifications. There, commercial done. <laughs> So now I am going to put my hummingbird in. My hummingbird, I'm going to have his head here, his body, his wing, and his tail. So I'm just using the stick to put my puddles out. I'm going to just drop a puddle right here for his head. And I'm going to make it just a smidge bigger. So there's there's a dot for his head we're going to zoom in all right thank you tish okay guys here it goes we're going to put a long narrow i'm sorry i'm kind of going off the screen aren't i i'm going to put a long narrow oval for the body and it's going to start about half the distance of that dot away. So whatever size the head is that you put, you want the body to start about half the distance away from that. Okay. Just like that. This paint is a lot thicker. Whew. All right, so now I want a line that's going to go out this way for one wing. I sure hope so, Vicki. I sure hope so. So I'm going to just line up, and we're going to go a line up right like this. And I want it a little bit thicker because I'm going to be pulling through this to get the feathers. So that's the top edge of the front wing. And then we've got the top edge of the back wing. We're going to make sure that that is behind. I want his tummy to be a little bit chubbier, so I'm going to pull it out just a little bit like that. Now, we need to join his head and his neck together, but I want to put the line for the, for the tail right here. So it's basically just coming off, off his back, down, and across. I know it doesn't look like much right now, does it? <laughs> uh, that's great, Holly. I'm glad this is your favorite type of bird. So now I'm going to put a line here that's going to join the neck and the chest. And I don't mind if a little bit of that white and blue sort of mix in. And I'm sort of flattening out that line at the back of his head where it goes into the neck, but it still curves a little bit. So now, <laughs> whew, okay, we're going to take a piece of, this is a um, gift card. I think it was one of those, uh, you know, reward type gift card things. So now I'm not gonna worry about pulling over in into this top wing or front wing here, I want to get this back wing pulled out.
okay? So I want to let that set for a minute. Then we're going to firm up this line right across the front there, and we'll pull the next wing out. But I think I'm going to go ahead and pull my feathers on the tail, and I'm going to just sort of straighten up that line across his back there. Wow, this paint is thick. Okay, so now I am going to rotate because it's easier to, to get my hands on it. And I think I'm going to take my stick with a little bit more paint. Hey, Mark. Glad you were able to check in. I'm going to pull this front wing out a little bit now. Just like that. You see what that did? That then pushed those wings, those feathers in the back to the back. Ooh, there's a lot of blue in this, this guy's wings. Oh, how pretty though. Oh, wow. That is so, so pretty. So I think I'm going to actually pull back up right here. There, that makes me happier for his tail. So now we've got his chest, his face. We have to put the beak in and I'm going to do the beak in the same colors, but what I'm going to do is I am just going to draw out from his face. And that's just going to then mix those colors with the under paint. So there we go. Okay, what do you think, guys? Oh, my stars. Yeah. This is so much fun, guys. I really, really recommend doing this. Um, and just have fun with it. So now I want to get some of that red on his chest and a spot of the red up on the top of his head. And I'm just going to take the gift card right here in his throat. This is a metallic, remember, it's going to shimmer. And I'm just tapping it on. I'm not actually like drawing it. I'm just sort of dunking it down into the paint. Oh, that's so pretty. And then up here at the top of his head, he's going to get a bit of bit of that bright spot. This is kind of like an Anna's uh, hummingbird. It's a uh, type of hummingbird that is a year round visitor and my in my neighborhood. There we go. Thank you, Madonna. I am really, really, really excited and happy about this. I'm going to go ahead and pour some of that red right here, but then I want to drop a bit of it on We will see if balloon smashing works. And if it doesn't, it may just be little splatter, spl splatter flowers. Boy, get all of my words working. Okay. Need to zoom out just a smidge. Look at that. You think he needs to be, a I think he needs to be a little fatter too. Thank you. That's one of the things about this. we can adjust. What's happening is that the paint around him 
is sort of working back. Sort of let it settle away just a bit. Ooh, didn't like that. See, sometimes you just have to um, not tip it. <laughs> Okay, his tail and his back, there. We're gonna come like this. We're gonna st strengthen up his tail and his back a little bit. And then we'll just pull out and around. Like that. And then we'll strengthen up his little neck, bright, bright neck feathers. See, that's how we do it. Hey, Catherine. Great to see you here. Okay, so now I'm going to tap, 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 tap right out here along his breast and his neck. And that's going to make him look a little bit chubbier. And then I think I'm actually going to take a little touch of this blue and sort of outline just right there and see if it will let it separate a bit from the background. And then a bit of that green just to brighten up those feathers. Yep, guys, this is exactly how I work in my studio. You know, I do something and then it might slip and it might um, do, you know, do something I'm not expecting and then you work with it and you figure it out. I love how his wings are actually looking like they're really in movement, like they're fluttering. So you don't get that super strong, um, you get an impression of wings. You don't get the, here is a wing, Doom. you know, his wings are, are moving and that I think is so cool. Now I'm going to go ahead and take that balloon and I'm going to stomp it down into some of that red with a little bit of white, not much. Oh yes. And I'm just going to touch into that purple that's laying on my table. There we go. And no, the paint is just way too thick. Look at that way too thick. I mean, it's pretty, it's pretty, but I think I may end up doing, I'll do some of these little smashy ones. There. Off the edge over here where it's been painted a little bit more. Oh, there. Oh, look at that. Sometimes it surprises you. Sometimes it is just a total surprise. I don't know that I really want to do much more to it. What do you guys think? Hey, Autumn. Nice to see you. And Gail. Lovely, lovely. Ian, not too dissimilar to watercolor wet on wet as you tease the color by pushing the water around through this. It's Yes, this is a lot more viscous. Thank you so much. F fantastic colors in the swipe. Thank you so much. You know what, guys? I'm I'm feeling like this is this is done. I don't want to mess with it. Now, what I will do after it's completely dry, I will post this on my website and the link is down below and I am going to put this one up for sale in my store. So, if anybody wants to buy it, it will be there. Oh, thank you so much, Tara. That was wonderful to see. Very beautiful. I appreciate that. You know, wow. We've got, uh, so question for you. Would you guys like to see me try doing some more pictorial like poured paintings live? Leave that in a comment down below. I think it's done. Yes, I think it's done. I'm I'm keeping my hands off of it. I'm not going to touch because you guys know that I can sometimes 
putts around with it a little bit. Gorgeous. Can't wait to try this out tomorrow. Yes, Crystal, try it. It's so much fun. And remember, if you need kind of a little idea of how a hummingbird goes together, I have that free lesson on YouTube with a handout that is free that you get from my store. And you can just download it. Thank you, God. Yes, please. Yes, yes. Excellent. Okay, I'll have to come up with another design to do as a live. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see if... Um, it was almost a 50-50, well, it was not a 50-50 split. You guys were much more uh, vocal about having a later video, like between 5 and 9, uh, my time. But we do have some people that are in other countries, and they really wanted me to go for an earlier in the day so that they might have a chance to get here. Yes, I know, Ian, it's the middle of the night for you and you made it. And thank you so much. I appreciate you being here <laughs> because, you know, live is fun. There's a certain energy to it and it just makes it, you know, feel more community. So thank you guys very much. A sloth. Ooh, a sloth. I'll have to work on that. <laughs> Someone tie my hands. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll put them behind my back. <laughs> I talk with my hands. That's just the way I am. Hey, guys, I really appreciate this. You guys being here. You guys coming in on the replay. Thank you so much for coming. Remember, click that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Press that notification bell so that you'll be notified when new videos go up. And make sure that you go out and do something creative. Take care of yourself so you can take care of those around you. And I hope to see you back here again really soon. <laughs> Bye.